Hmm. There's so many things going through my mind, so I'll be quick. Um, I've been attending Love Talk Live faithfully. I haven't missed one um, to the point that I even quit my job at one point so I could start coming on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. That's how faithful I was. But there was one thing that was a bit wrong. I didn't believe. We were doing the purposes, we were doing so many things, but I didn't believe. So this January, I really said to myself, you know what, I'm going to actually take Love Talk Live actually seriously. Like one of my girls actually got, us, got me a notebook. So I used to give myself homework. I used to like take the messages and do self-analysis. I work in a court. So when I had free time, I use my notebook and I go over and like write down things I noticed. And one of the things that really changed with me and was my mind as well was about fantasies. Like I read a lot of literature, love stories. I love rom-coms. I love movies like that. Did you dream of, of marrying a werewolf? No, yeah, you know, oh. mm, maybe a vampire, maybe a, a vampire. vampire, yeah. <laughs> but the thing about it, and with that, that really brought anxiety. So even, for example, the purpose of like wearing a wedding dress and all of that, I did everything, but it's kind of brought anxiety. So you come to church and you'll be like, who's that, who's that, who's that? So then it was kind of like, you're kind of thinking, you kind of become anxious. So until I spoke to you and opened up about it, that's when I was be able to shift from my love life and look at myself. Mm -hmm. And that's when I really started to apply things and things started to break through financially. There was like changes. I got a letter in the back. They said that you, your, over, your overdraft increase rate, it was changing my family as well. I realized that because you, us females, you like, you want to be around males and stuff. So I started investing more in my male cousins. So I started investing changes in them, started being around them a lot more. I seen changes in them as well. Um, seeing within myself, especially my mind to be like, oh, okay, you know, if it comes to my or, you know, shift focus, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of growth that's happened to me. So, yeah, that's where it's been a Bless lot of confidence. It. Amen. Wonderful. Good. Keep it up. And then. Hi, Pastor. I'm sorry to say, but I didn't want to come to your meetings either. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not mine. It's the Holy Spirit. Not the Holy Spirit. The love God, talk. But it's just the love talk. Yeah. Talking in particular, the the particular talk. Mm -hmm. I used to think like, well, after all the breakup that I had, all the crap that I've been through, I thought, um, well, already says to God what I'm looking for in a husband is a man of God or whatever. I'm not going to look for it. I don't think I'm going to go to church looking for a husband because, you know, you were going to distract me. So I didn't want that. But I kept on appearing in the meetings by mistake because, <laughs> because I, I have a comment on the bus stop. Uh, I think I'm going to have to start to come to these meetings because I keep coming on these meetings and I actually like it, <laughs> start to like it. So I start purposely coming. And then was when you, you was uh, giving a piece of paper and writing down what you wanted to start to this campaign. And then I wrote it down. What I wanted was um, that God will heal me from all the wounds and prepare me for relationship. Um, and I started to read um, the Psalms on Sa of Solomon because it's uh, apparently the relationship of a man and a wife is related to the relationship of God and the bride or whatever. So, as I was looking into this, um, and I was uh, reading the Psalms of Solomon, I, I had a new revelation of Jesus and his love for me uh, within the seeking of relationship of a man. How was his passion for me? You know, like when you're really passionate about someone mm -hmm. and how was his passion and that's what drove him to the cross. Mm -hmm. And that actually made me feel much more confident within me mm -hmm. uh, to even come and to actually think that, ah, yes, how are we going to have a man of God eventually? Mm. So you don't, you don't come so, by mistake anymore? No, I definitely <laughs> not, because I see that God was really working within me and with relationship with him, and I was very pleased. Excellent. Good. Amen. Keep it up.